You need plenty of practice to improve your English. This sentence contains an infinitive, to improve, which describes a purpose or reason. In this example, it explains why you need practice, to improve your English. We can often put infinitive clauses like this at the beginning. To improve your English, you need plenty of practice. We can also say in order to instead of to. You need plenty of practice in order to improve your English. In order to is a bit more formal and it makes the meaning clearer. Another phrase is so as to. You should read English books, magazines and websites so as to improve your English. We make them negative by putting not before to. We arrived in good time so as not to miss the beginning of the film, or in order not to miss it. Not to, without so as or in order, is not usually correct in purpose clauses. But we can use not to when the negative purpose clause is followed by a positive purpose clause. Some people learn English not to communicate with English speakers, but to read and study in English. And can sometimes be used instead of to, especially with imperatives. Come and have a drink. Let's go and see a film. Let's stay here and watch TV. In these sentences, it would be unusual to use to. Now look at this sentence. I downloaded some English songs for you to listen to. The subject, I, is different from the subject of the infinitive clause, you. If the subject of the infinitive is different from the subject of the sentence, use for. But don't use for if the subjects are the same. As well as expressing purpose, the infinitive can also be used for describing surprising results. They came home to find that their house had been flooded. This describes what happened when they came home, not the purpose of coming home. With the word only, this pattern describes a disappointing result. I ran all the way to the meeting only to be told that it had been cancelled 